Hey guys, I'm Heiko and this is the South Florida Fishing Channel. Little baby man, he looks like it's having some fun. Don't know where its parents are. Oh, right there. There's mom. We'll see more of those guys. I have a lot of footage of spear fishing, fishing, um, diving, boat work, all sorts of stuff. Oh, here comes my neighbor. So let me go talk to him first. My neighbor in the boat slip next to me. His boat's no longer gone. He's actually moving, but I just had a little chat with him. Back to what I was saying. So I have a lot of fishing footage. Normally it's of uh, basically the GoPro strapped to my head and me fishing that way, me shooting fish, a lot of pictures, but I've never like actually tried to videotape myself like this and actually talk to people and to create a more of a informational type of video where I kind of more go into details on all sorts of things like um, so I want to cover everything from the bait I use, where I catch the bait, the hooks that I use, or not the hooks, so I don't know, not just the hooks, the knots, the rigs, the rods, the gear, my boat. I'm going to go into detail about my boat. Um, when I do repairs, like I just took the lower unit off my engine, I put a new impeller pump in there, like things like that I want to turn into videos, more like instructional, tutorial kind of videos. Um, there's a lot of things that I look for on online when I try to do something or if I'm gonna like go grouper fishing I like to search for videos on grouper rigs and I find a lot of good stuff and I kind of take a little bit of everyone's techniques I make my own techniques out of them and so I want to start sharing that and I decided time to make a channel and time for people to watch and um, so this is my first video so I thought I'd start with a little video going over my rig and what to expect in this channel I'm gonna probably say that I'll try to upload at least two or three videos a week um, I'm gonna try to aim high I wanna make sure my content is flowing constantly if it's not if there's no good weather for fishing I'll make a video on I'll, I'll make some rigs I'll do whatever uh, there's always work to be done on the boat so there's like 50 things that this boat still needs done to it I mean it runs it runs <laughs> step one step two it floats actually that would probably be step one step two is that it runs everything after that is just a luxury so so we're in a good working condition right now where should I start how about I just start talking about myself a little bit just a real quick idea where I am where I came from what I do so uh, where to start Born in Germany, but I basically was raised in Florida, hence South Florida Fishing Channel, because that's all I do, South Florida Fishing. Um, if you fish in Florida, you should probably subscribe to this channel, because you're going to think you're a pro by the time you watch a whole series of my videos. At least I'd like to think that. Um, yeah, so born in Vero Beach, or no, born in Germany. Raised in Vero Beach, Florida. Moved, went to college in Jacksonville, up North Florida. Then I moved to Key West. Then I moved to Fort Lauderdale. The whole time I'm fishing, obviously. Um, now I live in Key Largo. 
So you probably just saw a little clip of me going from my condo to my boat slip right here. That's right, I'm living the life. I can walk to my boat and I can go right out there. It's about five miles to the, um, to the Tavernier Cut out into the ocean. I can go north through the, the cut over by Penny Camp. But you can't really spear fish there, so I prefer to go the other way. Although, I'd say at least half of my videos are going to be hook and line fishing. The other half will probably be spear fishing. Most days I do both. I like to have the spear gun on the boat, and I like to have my rods on the boat. Because, you know, if, if you're anchored up, you're chumming, you're yellowtailing or something, and you see some big fish down there and they're not biting, or you're trolling and you get a school of dolphin around the boat and they're just not biting, having a spear gun is like, whew, you just jump in and take your pick aim boom and you know you pick the one you want and sometimes you miss sometimes you don't but that's the game i don't miss as much as i used to back when i was a little kid in middle school um so today i am actually out here i created or i built one of these little fish buckets that's going to be a separate video I'm going to put some live bait in there because tomorrow we are going grouper fishing. Uh, grouper season just opened today, but today, like an hour ago, it was stormy, rainy, and now it's almost sunset. I'm not going to run out today, but tomorrow is grouper day. I'm going to get some big old juicy ones. And there is the Key Largo, 236 CC center console with a 200 horsepower Mercury. Um, me and my girlfriend, we actually just got this boat maybe three months ago. I've been busting, busting my butt to get it in running condition. I mean, days and days of electrical work, of scrubbing, and you know, bringing bringing it to its pristine condition that it once was and I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful boat I think here let me get a little wide shot of it it's this is a sexy sexy boat I mean look at that so clean could you ask for a cleaner boat and it gets better than that it's not just clean look how many rod holders it has each one of these metal bars here is a clip Good for um, sail fishing. Rod, rod holder, rod holder, rod holder. Oh, there's some there. There's some there, all up along the side. Of course, we got our. Whoop. These uh, our live wall here. Get a little peek inside there. Beautiful little net. Um little cabin area this is currently locked but I'll go more into into this whole boat soon I mean you're gonna be seeing me doing a lot of repair work on it and probably laugh at how much work I put into this boat um, camera probably won't be using that camera too much because normally when I go offshore trolling it's just me and Beata and you know I'll I'll be driving the boat or she'll be driving the boat and one of us is reeling in the fish so it's really hard to use the camcorder to like be able to get some action footage behind the boat but I'll try to get some some buddies out to hold the camera and, and get some real good footage that way. Now I'm going to um, I made this bucket to keep a live bait in for tomorrow and I'm gonna go out right now right off to that point right there try to get some live bait and I'm gonna actually make a video how I made that bucket to keep live bait in. I made it for like five bucks. Better than going to the store and buying like a really expensive one. Look how nice the sky is. Like I'm looking at manatees right now. Where do you how many people get to watch manatees? I'm gonna try to get some footage of that with the other camera so you can enjoy them too. Oh, I think they're mating. They're like splashing on top of each other. You see that over there? Yeah. 
There's a couple fatties right there. Usually when I clean the boat, they'll come right up to the boat and suck all the fresh water out of uh, that's pouring out of the back after I clean it. We cannot use any soap in this marina, so manatees drink nice fresh water, no soap in it, and everyone's happy. My boat might not have that um, soapy fresh smell, but it doesn't matter when the manatees are happy, then we're all happy. Hmm. There's a baby here that I saw. Really happy baby. He just rolls around and the, the mom or the dad, they come around and play with it too. Oh, look at it. Oh, so cute. This is my marina here. Nothing beats having your boat in a wet slip. I mean nothing. And um, as you notice, my boat does not have bottom paint. I'm getting that done. My boat's only been in the water here for uh, not too long, but I'm not gonna leave that in there much longer. It's sexy, doesn't it? Like, these sunsets are so nice. I'm just sitting here, catching bait right now, waiting for my girlfriend to bring me a drink. <laughs>